it's art, it's art, it's art, it's art, it's art, it's time for art! Hi everybody, my name is Miss Howell and I am an art teacher with Houston ISD and you and I are going to get to spend the next 30 minutes or so together making art and learning about art. Let's get started. First things first, I'm going to do art with some materials that you might not have at your house. And you know what? That's okay. You can do the best you can with whatever you have, or you can just watch and then later, if you get some of the materials, maybe you'll remember what we did together. Either way, I hope you have a good time and you learn something about art. Second thing second, this lesson is made for pre-K through second grade, but really anybody can do it. Anybody who's young at heart or a lifelong learner or who loves art will be able to participate and have a good time. Go get your stuff. 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 Hi, everybody. Today, I'm on the side of this building joining you to talk about public art. Public art is art that's made outside. Sometimes it's on the side of a building or in some sort of a public place where lots of people can see it and enjoy it. Houston has an amazing art scene and that includes public art. One of my favorite Houston artists is Anat Ronan. She is a realistic artist. She's from Israel and she moved to Houston and she taught herself how to paint. She painted the side of this animal shelter, but she has paintings on the sides of all kinds of buildings, inside the airport, and even in the zoo. She's also done a ton of mini murals all over the city. I'll bet you've seen a lot of her work. Donkey Boy is another Houston artist that has a lot of work all around town. And I love the fact that people used to kind of pick on him by calling him burro, which means donkey in Spanish. And you know what he did? He just took that name and he made it a big deal. He's pretty famous. He's got work all over the place. I bet those people that picked on him aren't famous street artists. There's also Gonzo 247, and he's amazing. He does street art all over the place, even internationally. That means in other countries. We're lucky to have him in Houston. Another one of my favorite Houston artists calls himself Pilot One. He does amazing realist work in giant size murals and also lots of mini murals. I love his nature themed work. Unfortunately, sometimes we don't even know who makes some of the most important, most fabulous street art in the city. Sometimes it just happens and shows up overnight. Remember, it's not okay to paint somebody else's stuff. In fact, it's illegal. Miss Howell always says if it doesn't belong to you and you don't have permission, don't tag it. And that goes for you, Banksy. Anyway, Zoe, Bennett, Kaylin, and I went on a public art crawl. That means we drove all over Houston taking pictures of some of the coolest public art you'll ever see. See if you can find one that's your favorite. I think you'll have a hard time, but maybe you'll find two or three. Here we go.
I bet you've seen these telephone boxes around all over Houston. People are invited to paint them and make them look really interesting instead of those kind of ugly dull boxes that they look like when they're not painted. Since a lot of public art is outside, most of the time the artist is using materials that are usually made to paint houses or lawn furniture, all kinds of crazy paint that's not usually thought of as art paint. And a lot of the pictures are huge. It takes a special kind of artist to be able to paint big and bold with those kinds of outdoor paints. Not all public art is paintings. There's also sculptures and even cars can be art. Even a bathroom can have public art in it. Let's make our own murals on some paper. I'm gonna use my oil pastels and my watercolor paper because it'll make it look really textured. But if you don't have that, you can use regular paper and crayons just fine. What should we make our mural of? What do we wanna make a giant picture of? I know, let's make a giant picture of what Houston looks like when we back way up and make the skyline. Different cities have different buildings and some of the buildings are so unique you can recognize them. The skyline is what you see when you look along the edge of the sky or the horizon. Here's a picture of Paris. Can you see the Eiffel Tower? This is London, and that big Ferris wheel is called the London Eye. This is just a small part of New York City. I see the Empire State's building. And this is downtown Houston. Wait a minute. That can't be now. Everybody's driving a horse and a buggy. That's better, Miss Howell. This is more current. Are there any buildings that you recognize? 
let's do a little editing magic on this picture to make it easier for us to just draw the outlines. I'm going to use a different color for each of my buildings so my picture comes out very colorful. But you might choose to just use one set of colors or even just black. Okay, here is our paper and here is our skyline that we're going to draw one building at a time. I'll leave it up so you can see it the whole time.
I'm going to add some bubbly letters, just three letters, an H, a T, and an X. That stands for Houston, Texas, or H-Tex. Can you make your letters bubbly like that? And now I'll add some color and some trees because Houston is full of trees. Here's more of that public art that we saw. See if you can recognize the Houston skyline in any of these pictures.
other kinds of things do you see in these murals? Now it's your turn to think of your own mural that you want to make. Do you want to make it about something? Do you want to just make it abstract colors? You get to decide and make your own mural on another piece of paper. Be sure to sign your name on the bottom and maybe add a hashtag.
I've had such a good time with you. I'll see you next week. Make sure your grown up sends us a picture and tag us at HISD Fine Art so we can see the work you're doing. I can't wait.